It's time for Rick's preview of game number 70, Montreal at Seattle. Hey, everybody, I'm Rick. Welcome to Talking Habs, where you get your daily fix of Blue Blanc Rouge. All right, so like I said, it's game number 70. Um, the Habs have just 13 games going into this one left for the season. Uh, Montreal's in Seattle. They beat Seattle first time uh, in Montreal. I want to say December 4th, something like that anyways. Uh, it was a 4-2 to two win. Uh, let's see. Tonight, these two teams are really close as far as stats go and record. Um, Seattle a little bit better as far as defensive play. Uh, so I'll go over a lot of those stats. I've got some news and all that stuff. And I also have the lineups and I got the guess the score contest. Guess the score of the game and the first goal scorer of the game. You can pick that guy from either team. And if you are in Canada and the first person in the, in the, uh, uh, the, the comments tonight, uh, with that guess, you win the $10 directly into your bank account via Interact, and the Interact is the reason why you got to be in Canada. All right. Good luck to everybody. I'll give you mine right now. As a matter of fact, uh, I don't win the prize, but my guess is 3-2 for the Kraken and Thomas Tatar, the Tuna, getting the first goal. So 3-2 Kraken and Thomas Tatar with the first goal. That's my guess. Uh, good luck to everybody making a guess. And, uh, yeah, so we'll, uh, hope we had a winner two games ago. I think it was two games ago or last game. Uh, no, the Edmonton game. Uh, we had a winner, Paul Duffy won. And I believe that's the fourth winner of the season. And, uh, yeah, that's a pretty good season. It's a tough uh, contest to win. All right, news. Going into this game, Seattle has lost seven in a row. And Montreal has lost four in a row and six of their last seven. Five of Seattle's losses were at home, and four of Montreal's losses were on the road. In those seven losses, the Kraken scored 10 goals and gave up 25 goals, and in Montreal's losses, they scored 12 goals and gave up 24. So very close. Uh, Uri Slavkovsky has seven points in his last six games, and that's at least three more than any Kraken player over there over the team's last seven games. So Slaff on a good roll. Um, uh, speaking of him, he needs just one more point to tie Mario Tremblay with 39 and be the uh, what is the uh, <laughs> the record here? Um, and that's for most points in a single season for a teenager. And Slav has three more games as a teenager because he turns 20 on March 30th. So he's got three more games to get one point to tie and two to beat Mario Tremblay's record and be uh, and hold that record. And, uh, yeah, all the best. I think he'll do it. Uh, he'll definitely tie and should, uh, and should beat that record. Uh, Caden Primo gets the start tonight. As expected, he is 2-1-0 in his last three starts. And he has two shutouts in those in those starts. Captain Nick Suzuki is three assists away from his third consecutive 20-goal, 40-assist season. He's currently on pace for 75 points, but, you know, he could still reach point-per-game status, you know, with a strong last 13 games, and he'll need 18 points in those 13 games to hit a point per game. I don't know that he'll do that. I think he'll come really close and uh, it's still an awesome season if he only gets the 75 that he's on pace for. It's still nine points more than last season. Every season he has put up good numbers and, and increased his, his uh, productivity, and this season is the same. Habs goalie of the future, Jacob Fowler, backstop Boston College to the Hockey East Championship with a brilliant performance. I saw highlights. I didn't see the game, but Matt was there. Matt saw it. Uh, it was a 6-2 win over Lane Hudson and Boston University. So this kid won a championship last year uh, with the uh, in the USHL, I believe. I forget the name of his. I forget the team name. And he wins a championship, moving up into college, making a step up. Didn't lose a step. Uh, and he's a champion. This kid's a champion, and Montreal will win a championship with this kid in that. That's my hot take for the future. All right, let's take a look at this game. 
The 25, 32, and 12 Montreal Canadiens taking on the 28, 28, and 13 Seattle Kraken. That's NHL 500 record. How to watch this game. It is a 9 p.m. start Eastern time at 6 p.m. Pacific on TSN 2 in English and RDS in French in the Habs region and in Kraken region. It is ROOT Northwest. Streaming ESPN Plus. RDS, TSN Plus, and where I'm watching it, unfortunately, on Sportsnet now, which is horrible. They should be ashamed of themselves for the service they give you. Um, season series, as I said, December 4th in Montreal, 4-2 to two for Montreal. And we're playing tonight, and if Montreal does win, it'll be a sweep. If not, uh, the series is tied at 1 for the season. Last 10 games, Montreal is 2-4-4. Four, and four. As you see there, they lost um, uh, Boston, Calgary, Edmonton, and Vancouver. The Kraken are 2-6-2. Two, two. Uh, their losses were Winnipeg, Vegas, Washington, Nashville, Buffalo, Vegas again, and Arizona. And you'd say they're due for a win, and they might be. Home and away record. Montreal is away. They're 12-23 on the road. And uh, Seattle is 14-21 at home. Atlantic standings. Here's where some good news for all you tank fans, like all the people who wanted them to tank on purpose. And I kept saying that nah, it's not going to be necessary. The payoff is right here. So Eastern Eastern uh, Atlantic Division, excuse me, top to bottom, Bruins 97 points, Panthers 95, Maple Leafs 89, Lightning 83, Red Wings 78, Sabres 71, Senators and Habs tied at 62, but the Sens have uh, four game, four wins more than Montreal, uh, so they're on top. Um, and then you get to the actual league, bottom 10, top to bottom, and this is where the big news is. Sabres with 71, Penguins 69, Kraken 69, Coyotes 63, Senators 62, and then the Habs at 62 as well, but just below the Senators for Fifth from the bottom. So uh, that's going to be a really good draft pick. I don't know that they drop any more than that. But if they can hang on to that, we're guaranteed a really good draft pick. Uh, so uh, under Montreal is Columbus at 58, Ducks at 51, Blackhawks at 45, and the useless Sharks right now at 40. They'll probably finish on the bottom. Whether they'll get the first pick or not, that's not guaranteed. All right, tail of the tape, scoring chances for percentage, possession numbers, 44.9% for Montreal, 28th, 52.6% for the Kraken, 8th. Goals per game, 2.68 for Montreal, 28th, and 2.62 for the Kraken, 29th. Goals against per game, 3.43 for Montreal, 27th, and 2.86 for the Kraken, 9th. So their defense is good. Power play percentage, 17.9%, 24th for Montreal, 21.1%, 17th for the Kraken. Montreal hasn't had a power play goal, I don't think, in a few games. So they really need to get, you know, get on the board uh, for the power play. PK percentage coming up, actually, 76% for Montreal, 27th, 79.3% for the Kraken, 17th. And as I said, head-to-head, -head, Montreal 1-0-0, Kraken 0-1-0. Face-off uh, percentage coming in, 52.3% for Montreal, 8th, and 47.3% for the Kraken, 27th. Could be a good advantage for Montreal. We'll see. Shots on goal allowed and shots on goal four. The allowed side, 33 for Montreal, 30 for the Kraken. And shots on goal four per game, 28.1 for Montreal, 28.6 for the Kraken. So it's not too bad. Uh, they're close there. Players to watch over the last five. Slavko in points, Slavkovsky with five. Uh, Oliver Bjorkstrand with three. For goals, Suzuki with two. Bjorkstrand with one. Assists, Slavkovsky with three. Bjorkstrand with two. And plus minus, uh, Jack Eye with a plus three. And Jaden Schwartz with a plus one. Uh, you look at those numbers, I mean... Seattle hasn't been scoring much lately, so hopefully that carries, you know, into this game and through this game, and Montreal can get a win. They're not going to get too many more the rest of the way. 
this is a chance for them to win. I know I have Kraken winning, but I'm kind of hoping it's going to be the opposite, obviously. And I'm sort of my way to jinx Seattle. If it works, I don't know. Uh, team leaders in goals, Suzuki with 27 and Jared McCann with 27. Points, Suzuki with 64, McCann with 54. Average time on ice, Matheson 25-34 and Vince Dunn 23-15. Dunn is not in the game tonight, though, I believe. Uh, wins, Sam Montembeau with 13 and Joey Decord 17. Uh, both those guys, I do believe, are not in the lineup tonight. Seattle scoring top five, McCann 27 and 27. So 27 goals, 27 assists, 54 points minus four. Bjorkstrand 18 and 31 for 49 points, minus 23. Vince Dunn 11 and 34, 45 points and plus eight. Jordan Eberle 15 and 23 for 38 points and a plus six. And Eli Tolvanen, excuse me. 15 and 21, 36 points, minus 10. Habs top five in scoring. Suzuki leading the way with 27 and 37 for 64 points and uh, minus 17. Caulfield next with 20 and 34 for 54 points and a minus eight. Matheson, nine and 38, 47 points, minus 32. <laughs> and Slavkovsky. 15 and 23 for 38 points and a minus 19. And Evans. 5 and 18 for 23 points and a minus 2. Seattle goalies tonight. Just one. Philip Grubauer supposed to be the starter tonight. In 26 starts, he is 10, 12, and 2 with a 284 goals against and a 901 save percentage. And Caden Primo in 15 starts, 6, 7, and 2. With a 297 goals against and a 905 save percentage. Seattle forward lines. Uh, uh, Beneers, Tolvanen, and Eberly. First line, McCann, Schwartz, and Burakovsky. Uh, second line, Gord, Taneb, and Bjorkstrand. Third line, and um, Belmer, Tetar, and Cardi. Um, are the fourth line, Habs lines, are Suzuki, Caulfield, Slavkovsky, Newhook, Harvey, Pinard, and Armia, Evans, Gallagher, and Anderson, and Colin White, Pozzetta, and Tanner Pearson. Seattle defensive lines, Dumoulin and Schultz, first pair, Oleksiak and Borgen, second pair, and Evans and Larson, a third pair for the Habs. Somebody made a mistake here. Um, uh, Harris is not first pair, I don't believe. I believe it'll be Matheson and Gooley, as it has been. Jack I and Savard and Harris and Kovacevic. Struble may be uh, in. I haven't heard. These lines are kind of from um, a few days ago. <laughs> I just don't think they're going to change much. And so uh, since the official lines weren't out, I used those. That's it. Let me know what you think. Uh, give your guess for the guess to score contest. If you're not in Canada, give a guess anyways, uh, and you get bragging rights for now until we can figure out how to get <laughs> the prize money elsewhere other than Canada. That's kind of the way it's got to be right now. So good luck to everybody who made a guess. I'll be back at 9 for the game doing the hangout. And then um, on the other channel, Don't Puck With Media, link in the description for the post game right after the game. And uh, that's it. So thanks, everybody, for watching. I really appreciate that. Um, yeah, until uh, till tonight, stay uh, safe out there. Peace out, y'all. And go Habs go. Good luck tonight. And I'll see you later. Ciao, everybody.